What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to review my 2021 FX Cruiser Limited, the SVHL, and uh, just kind of go over my six month experience with the ski and what I like, uh, what uh, I don't like, and maybe things that have happened to the ski uh, within this time period, how it's kind of going. And uh, you can comment below if there's any questions I missed and uh, maybe I can help uh, answer some questions you might have and if you can a lot of people watch the videos but they're not subscribed if you can please subscribe to the uh, channel it helps out a lot and it's free and it takes a second thanks a lot guys so this is my 2021 fx cruiser svho and this is the limited the color on the ski is called black with neon lava um, it's an orange color um, I know online it looks maybe a little bit more red, but in person it's definitely more orange. Um, it has a 18 gallon fuel tank or 70 liter fuel tank, depending on where you are. Um, that means that this gets very, uh, it has a very big tank, so you're out riding for a while. It's a three seater. It gets about five miles to the gallon. Um, the ski itself is the FX uh, model, so it's, it's the larger ski, more of the luxury model for Yamaha. Um, it has four pull-up cleats. It is painted with a automotive paint, so some people say that it's not as flexible as, I guess, a marina paint. So if you beach your... Uh, jet ski a lot you could get spider ring and things like that now for me i've owned this for a little over six months it's been about eight months now there's no uh, visible spider ring anywhere on the hull or underneath uh, the ski itself we don't particularly beach it all the time but that doesn't mean it won't happen uh, if you do that this is the three seater uh, with a, a one point four liter supercharged uh, Yamaha Marina engine with a pump as you can see there that hasn't have any type of uh, wear or tear for the uh, for the uses of it it has a tilt uh, on it a system where you can actually tilt the pump up or down depending on you know what type of terrain you're in which is definitely helpful uh, while you're out there because this ski tends to drag on the slower speeds um, this particular ski my ski has over um, or right around 30 hours on it gets about five miles to the gallon so with an 18 gallon tank you're out there for quite a bit which is definitely uh, I feel is a good thing um, I just switched up uh, the attachments that they had on the ski. One was for GPS, which I left. It's like almost like a cup holder that you can attach the um, system into. And then the other side was a one for speaker. I switched it over to a GPS mount just to give it a shot, give it a try. And, and my wife's ski, we're going to put a speaker on hers so she could try it out. Um, just to kind of go over a couple things, if you've never kind of seen the Yamahas before, it's a touch screen, it's a colored, changeable colored touch screen, which is easy to use. Um, I think it's the technology has been on the Yamahas for a couple of years now. So the 2021, it's not, it's not new to it, um, which I think it's easy to use. I don't really mess with it much. That's like maybe the fourth time I've actually touched the screen for the most part. Um, I guess people were asking about the seat. Is it comfortable? Um, is it wearing well? well? I can tell you, for me, it is a wide seat, but on longer cruises, if you lean your butt back into the seat on the ridge up, it's definitely pretty comfortable, I feel. Um, maybe if it was a slight bit narrower, you could kind of grip the ski maybe a little bit better. But uh, for me, I, I don't find it that bad. Maybe if I had a GP, I would like the GP better. Um, but other than that, I think it's fine. The ski is definitely a looker. So when you're out on the water, people that are in the know know that you have the limited because it's the only color that it actually comes in. There's no other color you could pick. 
And uh, like I said, it's definitely more of an orange to it. Um, and I don't have any type of defects or anything in it. It's been, it's been pretty good with the paint and that, you know, just the, the whole thing of it has been just a good ski for us. Um, we've already had our 10 hour service. So 50 hours is next. And I was thinking about maybe some upgrades, just like handlebars and maybe the ride plate, but I'm not sure. Still kicking it around. Um, if you guys have any questions, um, I'll put some uh, video of the, the engine area so you can kind of check that out. Um, and if you have any questions, definitely put it below. I'm sure I didn't hit everything. I do have another video kind of going into other parts of the ski. But if you have any questions, just put it below. It just helps me to kind of figure out what, what you actually want to know and maybe it will help with your purchase if you were looking to go this route, if you can even find one. Um, it's I heard it's really tough to get these right now, but uh, you never know. Maybe somebody's trying to sell it or maybe the dealership will start picking uh, up some maybe sooner than later who knows but hopefully you like the video and again if you haven't subscribed i'm going to be doing more content on the ski and kind of going around and if i do get support on the channel i will definitely do more with it um, so hopefully you like it and if you do uh, like i said definitely hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and uh this will be just a little bit of a, a showing of a little more of the ski all right guys thanks